How's it going, folks? Welcome back to another episode. Today, we're starting the day off at the old-fashioned classic wall of Mart. We're going to be doing a little challenge today. It may work. It may not. We do have a plan B in case it doesn't work. But today's plan is going to be to take giant live goldfish and take them to my pond and fish with them and see what we catch. We could catch catfish. We could catch bass. We could catch walleye. We could catch, I guess it's probably about it. But that's the plan. We got to go to Walmart because I need some live bait hooks. I need some bigger bobbers. I don't really have any of that type of stuff. So we're going to go to Walmart, get all that jazz. And then we're going to run to the local bait store here, get some giant kager goldfish but before this video gets started i want to say huge thanks to carl for sponsoring today's video if you guys want any fishing gear whatsoever all things fishing related you can get up to 30 percent off if you are a carl's member using the promo code linked down in the description down below click the link and go sign up get up to 30 percent off everything on the website all name brands of baits lures rods reels lines all that fun stuff so if you're getting geared up for spring fishing you guys need to go to carl's and shop there that's the cheapest place to get all your fishing needs. Bonzo, are you ready? Yes, sir. Where's your mask? <laughs> you got a mask? Nope. Rip. Well, well, well. What are we getting here? Bobbers. Oh yeah, we're getting bobbers. We need keggers. We need like, oh god, those are big boys there. These are, uh, what do they call these things? These are two inch round snap on floats. You think that would hold a, that's big chungus yes. there. What's going on there? I feel like that would hold a goldfish up. Yeah. I mean, it, so. it'd be like chugging along, but I don't think yeah, they'd think pull it under. Yeah. Three, three would be plenty. That way we can each, we each have our own dangle stick. So then we need, we do need some bait hook. Probably some circle hook, I'm guessing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. I think that's probably plenty big for yeah. sure. I say that's good because that's a, that's a four on. Go right through the goldfish. Boom. I think we're going to try this kind of like weightless, like basically just chuck it out there on a bobber and like we're just going to get on the boat and float around to different points and just chuck it and we're each going to have a goldfish and we're going to see what we catch. I'm not really sure, but we've got bobbers and hooks. You need new dangle stick, Bonzo? That's a $34 combo. That thing looks fire, does it not? Dude, what's wrong with this thing? Oh God, yeah. Look at that. I say we use this. I need, I need like a. This is a good live bait rod because it's got a lot of bend, so you can, and you can cast real far, you know. Yeah. All right, I guess we're getting. It. I don't know why. Shoo! All right, folks, we made it down to the pond. How much water is in the? Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. We probably want to take care of that right quick. Uh, let's go ahead and pull it up. Pull it up on shore and see if we can pull that plug and uh, get her get her drained out here. One more. Oh God! Cheese and rice. Oh, we got. Oh, we left. We left the old. Rip. We left a bunch of goods in here. Okay, she's pulled. So here we go. This is the old Walmart dangle stick 3000. Little whip whipper snapper type deal. This is gonna be my rig. Uh, we got some pre-rigged line. I'm sure it's real strong. We're gonna get set up on a little bobber setup. Here's what we're dangling, folks. We got the little bait bucket full of kager goldfish look at that guy that's what we're talking about big old goldie there you go rick we got a couple dozen we're gonna go ahead and get this thing rigged up and we're all three gonna be having similar rigs big bobbers with the live goldfish and we're gonna just run like so we're just gonna run around throw it off the points let it swim around who knows the fish might be shallow on beds i don't know so we bought some hooks at walmart but we also bought some hooks from the bait shop and this is a true turn hook. And these are both actually, they're actually both four out. The original cam action hook that rotates towards pressure and hooks more fish. So supposedly, when you set the hook, it makes the hook face upright and you catch more fish that way. Whether it's true or not, I'm not really sure. But it's got this little, it's got this little bend action. So when it pulls it, it automatically goes up or something like that. I'm not really sure. Um, and then we've got Big Kager big kager bobbers so basically what we're gonna do here is throw on this hook i mean that's a that's a meaty hook there so go ahead and tie your old overhand loop-de-loop -loop granny knot whatever floats your goat i got the old san diego jam here you wrap it around seven times stick it through the bottom hole stick it through the top hole wet it and cinch it down so through the bottom hole through the top hole and then wet it down and then pull and you should be should slide all the way down to the hook that's the old strong knot right there <clears throat> so we're good and we're gonna go probably weightless honestly i don't i think the goldfish would probably swim on their own we didn't bring any weight so if it doesn't work then we're pretty much screwed there you have it there's the rig the old bobber the old hook that's uh that'd probably be what is this a six footer this is the old six six so that's six foot six inches deep is what we're going to allow the goldfish to swim 
How's the, how's the old water looking over here, Bonzo? Uh, I mean, you still got some. Anyways, we're gonna get the rest of the rods rigged up and we're gonna head out on the old dangle dinghy, see if we can catch ourselves bigger. All right, oh, rip. So we're out here. Hey, come here, Rick. Freaking Nemo, get back here. All right, here, oh, oh there you go. A little goldie. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook them right through the dorsal. That way they have all the head power so they can see how he can swim down still. And then we've got it rigged up on the old bobber. See what he looks like. Oh God, look at that. Oh yeah, it's clear. A little sunny, it's a little sunny out so the fish should be able to see him. Now we're just gonna go off to a point. I'm gonna run over to a point and we're all just gonna start trucking, trucking around and see, I mean, see what happens. I don't know, I'm sure this has been done before, but I've never really seen any video. So I don't know if this is a good idea, bad idea. I, what I hope is that they don't come, I mean, I doubt one goldfish would reproduce, but like goldfish is basically like releasing a carp. So we don't really want hopefully too many of these coming off and living because if they reproduce in here then it wouldn't be good i mean it'd be kind of cool to have goldfish in here but they're they're not they're kind of an overpopulated invasive trash fish when they get released into lakes and stuff but either way let's go over to a point and see what happens so we're to the first point i'm gonna give it the old flick of the wrist here oh we can give him one of those oh he swam down test the drag on this old zebco probably a little tighter than that huh it could be a deal where we have to go pitch them up shallow it could be a deal where we throw them out deep i'm going to kind of scan the banks a little bit for any type of shallow bed bed fish fish because there definitely could be some on beds right now and uh bonds was getting rigged up how's that looking oh, back there for you I'll here. oh you're, you're i'm, already, in, the, you're I'm in the deep you're in the, you're, you're, he's doing the old back drift technique hopefully we get something so far folks nothing we've cast it a few times we made it right up to the the bush dreams are made of here so we're gonna give it the old flick Oh yeah. oh yeah oh what's he doing oh he ain't swimming at all wake up junior oh now he goes he's swimming all right let's see it's crazy because i can still see him so we'll see if a bass comes up and, and pokes him we've got him right next to the bush see what the old largies thinks i know i know largies are always in the bush so there's no way that there's nothing up in there him being orange and all flashy it's, it's got to catch something oh 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 definitely definitely a bite look at him see him he's, he's taking it i don't think that goldfish is strong enough look see him he's yeah. pulling it that's a oh. fish oh rip. i didn't the only reason why i got so anxious is i don't want him to take it oh there's scales look this, the scales came off that was a fish i just don't want them to take it into the bush that's the problem i got a little anxious i didn't wait for the bobber to go down it was 100 percent a fish because there's scales and like I'm watching the goldfish and he isn't, a, he can tug on the bobber a little bit, but it, it was getting hit pretty hard by something. He was honestly, what he probably was having is probably getting chased. See, there he is again. He's getting chased now. Yep. Oh, oh, definitely a fish. Did you see that bobber yeah. jump? Oh gosh. Come on. Come on. It's gotta be a good sized bass though. I think I just saw him. Yeah, I did. I did. I just saw him eat it. I saw him eat it. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Dude, I just, I saw the bass. Was it a decent one? Yes. I saw him eat it. Also, I was like, what is that, a tree? It was the bass. I just saw him eat it and it went boom. It's gonna happen, folks. We just gotta find the right size largey. It is gonna happen. He's been, he's getting, he's getting pecked on, just not fully eaten. Rip. Nemo. Nemo just went freaking to Narnia. All right, we're gonna need a new one. What did I just say about populating my pond with goldfish? Not, not being a good idea. Definitely just did that. Oh God, you got one. Grab that rod, grab that rod. Here, 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 here. Here, here, here. Give it over. Yeah, Give me the white go. one. There you go, there you go. Is it gone? Yeah, no, it's under. It's it's under. under. Oh, we got one. Yep. We got one. We got one. Oh, oh, giant, giant crappie, bro. Crappie. No, giant crappie. You're kidding. You're kidding. All right, all right, just, just reel them all in. Reel them all in so we don't get them all tangled up. Oh my gosh. We got a giant mega crappie, folks. <laughs> Bonzo, <laughs> look at Bonzo back there. He's got the till two rod dangle. Oh, this thing's toast. Is it toast? No, it's just got it all wrapped. Look at that. <laughs> that was on the dead stick. We dead sticked one because it had this weight here as like a little drop shot. So it's holding it down and all of a sudden it just started tugging along, hooked itself. Look at that. That's a mega crappie right there, folks. <laughs> well, I mean, the goldfish strap, where, are we stuck? Is it in the bush? Is this just a cluster? Yeah, this is Are we on it? Are we clustering right now? This one's gonna be 
All right, yeah, go ahead and just rig that guy up. Look at that, first fish on the dead stick. Oh, crappy. We're gonna throw this guy back. Not catching cook right now. See you, buddy. Now I know we, oh, what's going on? Are we stuck? Hey, hey tree, so much for this bush. That was, that was the old cluster 3000 deal there, but we got us ourselves a fish. Like I said, it was on the old dead stick. Good sign. We're gonna keep on fishing that. Before I should give that bush a break since we just kind of, you know, ran into it. But uh, so far, we know the crappie like the old goldfish. Good start to the day. You guys stay tuned for more. The old flip. Oh, oh, he ate it. He ate it. He ate it. Oh, no way. Off the top water. Oh, he came off. He came off. Look at that. <laughs> Did you? No, he came off. Look, Nemo. Nemo, come back, Nemo. No, he's going deep. No. No, you guys, you see that? That was crazy. Dude, I literally pitched it up shallow and was twitching it like, like a frog or whatever. And the bass absolutely murked on it. What? This, this is whack. All right, I'm gonna grab another one. We lost another Nemo. We're just populating my pond with invasive fish. So that's sick. Give me a, give me a small guy here. I don't want Kagerville. That was wild, bro. He, you could hear him eat it. He ate it off of the surface. That was insane. All right, get this guy out there. So my strategy is I took the bobber off and I'm literally just taking it, looking for, you know, a point or something, just like you, where you would flip a frog. And then I'm just kind of keeping him up shallow and just kind of feather him. Cause there's a lot of like this grass that has water on it. And I'm just keeping them shallow and letting them kind of swim and do their thing. And it actually freaking worked. We actually got one. He didn't, uh, he didn't stay pinned on him, but we hooked him. We're going to see if we can get another one here. I'm going to continue to pitch shallow here. Go ahead and give it a little, oh, look at the skip. Oh, he ate it. He ate it. We got another one. <laughs> look at that. Dude, he smoked it right away. All right. Don't, no, don't let Nemo off. I don't want to release another Nemo. Don't, don't, don't come here. Oh, we got him. We got him. Look at that. <laughs> we got her figured out on the old Nemo rig, folks. It don't get any better than that. Up shallow. Just a little, just a little male, just a little guy. I'm gonna back off this point. This is, dude, this is a strat. Just, just skip it up shallow and let him do his thing. You don't even have to do nothing. I know this is like nothing super revolutionary, but it, it's pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie. Like I know it's live bait fishing and it's not as cool as, you know, throwing an old Guggen bait and stuff. But just something about throwing this big freaking orange fish. Something about it's just pretty sick. We got the pattern figured out for the largies. I think the old crappie pattern's the deeper, a deeper strat, but we're gonna see if we can catch some more. Oh, there's bass, see him? He's on him, he's on him, he's on him. He ate it, he, he he's, didn't get it all he's the way. He's chewing it. He's chewing it up, he's chewing it up. Got him, got him. Oh, oh no, he came off. Oh my gosh, I just sight fished another one. This is, we're, we're getting to too big of gold fish here. I see him. He's below him. See him? Right below him. Yup. He ate it. He, he, he's just, he has a tail of it. He's got it. He's got it. Oh my, he's too, he's too, the fish is too small. He's, he's right there. Look at him. He ate it again. He ate it again. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. <laughs> I came oh. up. What's wrong with this hook? Dude, they might not even be getting hooked. I think they're just hanging on to the fish. Dude, he ate three times. That fish came back. We gotta find old Bertha. These little males just aren't cutting it with this. That is that is absolutely wild, wild though. You can literally throw it out there and you just see fish just come up to it. Like fish literally just come up to it and to come check it out because it's just bright and orange. And then once they realize, oh, that's a fish, then they eat it. This is nuts. You got fucking hit. You got hit? Yeah, really. You got one? I don't know. You got one? I do. Oh, you? Oh yeah. Hundred oh, percent. Yeah. Bonzo's hooked up. Oh yeah. Bonzo's got biggin. Come on. Oh, you definitely got. Oh God, you got a kager? I don't know. Oh, it's. Yeah. Oh, you might have a catfish. You have a catfish. Oh I yeah. I can tell by the way it's swimming. You got a catfish. You got a catfish, oh, Bonzo. Yeah. Bonzo got a cat. Oh hell yeah. Freaking Mr. Whiskers. What are you doing, Rick? Woo! In the boat. Oh God yeah. Oh yeah. Oh God yeah. You got Mr. Whiskers. Look at that, the old channel. What are you doing, Rexy? I knew we had a couple of these guys in the old nice. pond. We're planning on stocking more. Well, that's a good sized channel right there. Hey, Rick, calm down, Junior. I think that's my PB. Is that your PB that kitty is cat? Definitely my PB. You want a picture with him? Sure. But he's wearing lipstick. Look at that. Lipstick. How much do you think that weighs? That's uh, probably three, 
Yeah. I mean, that's a good sized channel. Yeah. That's a good eater. If we were on catch goat grind, we'd be eating that guy. Who knew? Catfish and goldfish. Look at that. Three species on it. Yeah. Dude, the goldfish are, I'm telling you, yeah. they're the deal. All right. Any, any of you guys that don't like the goldfish strat, it's the strat. I'm a believer in All right. Oh, it smells like a catfish. All right. See you later, Rick. Boom. Boom. Bonzo. You got the old whisker. Mr. Whiskers. I got to see. Make sure I don't have one out here. What's going on here? What in tarnation? Oh, I just got eaten. Ooh. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Nemo came off. No, Nemo. Son of a... This little sucker. Look, Nemo's on the surface. Let's go try to catch Nemo. Hey, Rick. Slow down. Slow your, slow your roll. We got to... Look at Nemo swimming. No. Nemo. We should have brought a net. Son of a gun. Nemo, no. We are literally just stocking my pond with invasive goldfish. This is not ideal. This little male, wonder if they're garden fry. There's a bunch of bluegill beds. Look at that guy. Hey, how's it going, Nick? He just ate it. He ate it right off the shore. Another goldfish gone. Rip. Anyways, we're catching fish. This is a good time. I'm gonna rig up another one and see if we can catch more. Yep. Got him. Got another one. Let's go, baby. Nemo! We're going for a ride, Junior. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah. That's one of the better ones. Get up in here, Rick. That's Oh, no, Nemo! Grab, grab Nemo. Oh, God, we got flip. Grab Nemo. You got him? No, he went on. Oh, Rip! <laughs> no. <laughs> Son of a guy about flipped the boat. Cheese and rice. Look at that big one, though. That's, that's, that's more, or so, more or less what we're after there, folks. Finally got another one. We're, at, we're almost done with our little circuit. We're about back to the dam here. Little chunky monkey right there. Beauty. See you later, Rick. Boom. So you got yourself a little kitty cat, huh? Yeah. What are you, what's so funny, Rick? Just you, how you look. I'm just, oh, oh, wow. <laughs> wow, that was a, that was a shot. But you got a little kitty. Yeah. Good job, you killed it. My first one in your pond. First kitty cat in the pond. That's a pretty, pretty big size cat. Honestly, that might be one of the first cats they've seen on camera. Yeah. I'm trying to think of you guys. We've we've caught some here and there on and off camera. I don't really know. We haven't really made a huge deal about it, but we are planning on stocking more and really getting down to catfish. But Bonzo, he caught one on the old Goldilocks fish. I personally enjoy throwing the goldfish. You know, I'm not much of a live bait kind of guy. I mean, obviously more of just the traditional like tournament bass angle or using artificial, but something about flipping the old Goldilocks up there and watching a largemouth hit it. I mean, that's up there. That's, uh, that's up there with kind of the more entertaining bass fishing I have done before, but it was a pretty cool experience for me. I had a good time. Hopefully you guys had a good time watching and enjoying it. If you guys, I wouldn't probably recommend doing it on public water just because again, you know, the old, uh, the old goldfish isn't really good for the, uh, the pond and stuff like that. But if you guys have access to a private pond, I would suggest doing it. And, and you guys may not have access to the, the big goldfish. Uh, we get them from just a local bait shop. But I don't know, flipping any type of big live bait like that, even if you caught a little bluegill and did it, I think that'd be kind of neat. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked here. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Remember, if you want up to 30% off all fishing tackle, that means rods, reels, lines, lures, everything. If you are a Carl's member and you use the link down below, if you're a Carl's member, you get up to 30% off everything on the website. So go get stocked up for spring fishing. Big shout out to those guys for sponsoring today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and peace.